Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. We got a lot to get to tonight, but before I get into the full forecast that's sure to spawn some talk at the water cooler tomorrow, I want to take a look back again at all of the rainfall that we've been experiencing. I want to thank the National Weather Service for some of these numbers because they are uh, pretty impressive here. If you think it's been wet this September, you are 100% right. Look at these rainfall totals. This is just through the month, and a lot of these numbers are the wettest ever for September for a lot of these towns. Williston, Garrison, Minot, they're at the third wettest on record in September in Bismarck. They may take a run at the all-time wettest September here because more rain is expected before the end of the month. Even Hedinger, inch and three quarters, but that's still good enough for fourth wettest ever in September. So it has certainly been wet this September. Thankfully right now, it's dry. Just some false returns here on the radar. That's what you see here. But because of all the rain we had, over the past over the weekend, Friday and Saturday, we still have a flood warning in effect for portions of the Cannonball River in Morton and Sioux County till about just after lunchtime tomorrow. So expect still some high water in that area. Temperatures right now mostly in the lower lower to mid 50s across a good section of the area. A couple cool spots bought. No, you're at 4955 right now. Good evening to our friends in the Magic City. So what can we expect over the next week or so? Well, a lot. A beautiful day for the first day of fall that happens tomorrow, which we'll get to here in just a second. But as we go through the week, the moisture will pick back up and some of the days could have some heavy rainfall, which you'll see here with precision cast. And then by next weekend, it's going to get much, much colder, not cooler, colder in a big way. And I'll show you here with the upper air patterns here. This is Tuesday. You can see a dip in the jet stream. And that dip will get more and more pronounced. This is Friday, a deeper dip, so more cool air coming down. And by the time we get toward next week, you can see an even more pronounced dip in the jet stream. And that will be over our area for a good portion of time. And that's going to have effect on our temperatures and our precipitation here. As you can see, it's dry to start the week. Probably a couple of isolated showers, maybe a thunderstorm on Tuesday. Then we get another break before another slug of more heavy rainfall moves in for this upcoming Thursday. It looks like the heaviest will be north of the capital city. And then as we get towards next weekend and those colder temperatures, yes, you can see a little bit pink on that map. And then by next Sunday, some of the computer models are hinting at possibly our first snowfall of the season. But first, we have to get through the first day of fall, and that happens in just a few hours. In fact, we will hit the autumnal equinox while most of us are asleep this year. 2.50 in the morning, we'll hit the autumnal equinox and fall will be underway. Tonight in the capital city, we will dip to a rather seasonable 46 degrees. Temperatures will be a little bit chilly, but those winds will be light. Nice clear skies out there. Meanwhile, to the north in the Magic City, 47 degrees with those fall-like temperatures out there. Here's a look at lows elsewhere tonight. Most places will be in the lower to mid 40s, so just slightly below average for this time of the year, but nothing that's out of the question for this area. Your forecast for the Williston area, sunshine tomorrow, and then we'll see some scattered sprinkles on Tuesday and maybe a pop-up thunderstorm on Wednesday. Meanwhile, in the Dickinson area, about the same thing, a nice Monday, scattered storms Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's your forecast tomorrow for the capital city, 78 degrees, a beautiful day out there. Same thing for the Magic City, 79 is what we're dealing with. And here's a look at your extended forecast for the capital city. Very nice on Monday, then we get that rain, and you can see those cooler temperatures Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, just a high of 50 on Monday. And then for the Magic City, Becky, pretty much the same thing there. We'll get to that graphic here coming up, but some rain and then cooler temperatures by next weekend. Okay, I'm going on vacation next weekend. I'm going to ignore those cold temperatures. Thanks, okay. Robert. Coming up next in sports, find out who makes the countdown in this week's edition of Top Plays of the Week. 